Hello, welcome. In this video, we are going to learn about write file operation of S. How we can use, what is the limitation, everything we will discuss in this video. So let's begin. So here you can see I have created some request payload. In the request payload, we have some data. So now what we want is that we want to generate a file with this data and we have to send that file over server. So how we can create file in Oracle integration so that we can send that file over email or server anything. So let's begin. That's why we have the stage file, write file operation for creating a file. So for before going to create a file, we require file structure that what kind of file we are going to create. So I have already created a file structure. Let me show you the file structure first. Then after we will start the discussion, creating the integration. So here you can see I have created a sample file. This is my sample file. Here you can see this is the sample stage file. In the sample file, you can see I have the column that name, DOB, domain, contact, address, and this two extra column creation date and created by. And we have dummy data because while writing the file, we require file structure so that we can create a file based on the specific structure only. So all this data name and all we will get from request payload only request payload and this the data creation date and created by we will get from integration metadata. So let's begin and create integrations from a starting. So here we have the integration page. Now click on this create to select the integration patterns. I will select as application as we have to configure the request payload. Also in the request response payload, we will return back the file name we have created and the some message like successfully and all. So here, let me give the name as XX stage write file 01 next on create. So here we created integration. Whenever we are creating application type integration, we don't have any endpoint here. So as of now, we have to configure the request and response payload or we are going to initiate the integration. That's why we required a connection. That connection is going to configure request and response payload. That's why we have the REST connection. So I will drag this REST connection here so that we can configure request and response payload. So here I will give the name as a start REST. And next here we have to provide the URI. I will give as write file. <clears throat> I will select method as post so that I can configure request and response payload. Now next and here we have to provide the sample request payload value. So I will select as a JSON and I have already here you can see created the sample request payload. So I will just copy this payload. As you can see we have array element that's why we have here the angle bracket of col column. Square. So now here we have to provide in the in line. So now I already provided the JSON request payload. Now click OK to configure. Now next. Next, we have to configure the response payload. You can see in response payload again, I will select JSON. I have already created the sample response payload that in response payload, I will return back a status as file created and the file name, I, whatever file name we will create. <clears throat> so here in line, I will provide the response payload. Okay. And next done. So here we added the rest endpoint successfully so that we can configure request and response payload. Now we have to generate the file based on the data we will receive in the request payload. For creating the file in Oracle integration, we require a stage file activity. So this is the stage file activity. I will drag here and I will give the name as write file underscore stage. Next, as we are going to create a file while creating the file, we require write file operation. And here we have to provide the file name and the file directory. This is the OIC virtual directory here in the OIC runtime. We will create the file. This is the directory. So I will provide directory as 10. Let me copy this directory so that later on we can use this directory somewhere. And here is the file name. So what kind of file name we are going to provide? So we are going to provide file name something employee and this will be the date something like uh, uh, 28-2023-07-28, something like that, the file, this is the date. So this is the hard-coded value employee, this is the date and dot .csv hard-coded value. 
So how we will create? So we will we will use concrete method. So I will use concat, and here I hard coded value as employee file underscore. We have to concatenate the date. For concatenating the date, we have the date function current date. This will return back the current date. This one. So I will drag this current date here. But this is this current date is in date data type so i would i need to convert this to a string so i will use a string method yeah this string will convert this data type this date data type to a string and now we have to add the dot csv as we are going to create csv file now done so we have successfully given the name given the path and now click on next this is the append i will explain you the use of this append later next now here we have to provide the sample value, the schema of the file so that it can define what kind of file we are going to create. So I will select CSV as I'm going to provide CSV schema. Next, I have to direct the file. So I have already created one CSV file schema here. You can see sample employee CSV file. I will select this one. I will provide the name as record, record set. And I will don't want to change anything here. It will be same. And now done. Next. And here done. So we successfully added the stage endpoint so that we can create the file. So I have to map here. So I will just click on the mapping in rest. Now next here you can see we have the value in my column. So what column we have to map? We have to map column from request payload. So you can see this array. This array will be mapped with this array. Now this name will be mapped with this name. This DOB will be mapped with this DOB. This domain will be mapped with this domain. This contact will be mapped here and the address will be mapped here. Now everything is done. Two column remain the creation date. So I will use creation date as current date. Current date. And, oh sorry, yeah. Current date and created by, I will use metadata invoked by. So here integration metadata, here at runtime, details we have invoked by so i will map here so everything is done we are done with that file creation part validate and go back go back to the canvas of integration so now you can see we successfully added endpoint and map provided the mapping to create the file so now file successfully created now we have to pass this file over email for sending email we have notification so i will use notification here in notification to to whom we need to provide send the email so i will provide my email only ronzafor at gmail.com and from where this email will trigger so i will give no reply at oracle.com this can be configured in oci and subject it will be employee file data and body here i will give hi team please find attached employee csv file regards oic support team this email will be triggered and we have to provide the attachment as a file so this is the file we created a stage file right file stage in the response of this file we will get the file so we will map this file reference here so in attachment here you can see i will click here and here we have to provide the mapping so here you can see write file stage, expand this one, expand and ICS file here inside ICS we have file reference. So I will map this file reference here. So now we are done with everything. We added the attachment and now once we will click outside, you can see we are done with that integration. So we created, now it's time to map the response. So I will click here in the response wrapper you will see response data we have the status and the file name so in the status i will provide hard coded value as file created and email sent i have just hard coded the value we can provide this message based on the logic validation we have added and the file name from where we will get the file name as you can see, write file stage response have the file reference 
and here only we provided the file so even here we can get the file name inside ICS we have file reference and inside the properties we have the file name you can this is the file name so yes now everything is done validate go back so now you we have everything done now here you can see we with the help of this endpoint we are getting the request payload whatever data we are receiving in request payload same data we map here in the stage file operation to create the file and the, whatever file we created same file we send over the email and in the mapping we provided the response the file name and the hardcoded value as success now here we have one error so we know that whenever we are creating any integration each and every integration it's mandatory to have a minimum one business identifier as tracking variable so we have to map a single variable minimum one variable maximum three for tracking variables so i will drag this request payload value only so now you can see we don't have any error now everything is done we will go back activate the integration and we will run the integration so let me activate this integration first so now here we have activated the integrations so once we will run the integration you can see while running the integration we have to pass the data as a request payload in body you can see we provided the some sample values whatever we provided in the rest endpoint so even you can change the value so i don't want to change whatever value is there i want to create file with that value and after that i will receive file over email so let me show you the email first so this is my email right now i don't have any email yet i will just move and click on run when i will click on run it will get the file create the file and it will send the file over email and you can see file created and email sent successfully file name you can see employee this is the date dot csv the same file we will receive over email so here you can see the notification if you will see this is the notification one and once you will see the notification you can see subject email file all this thing here let me show you the email so now here you can see in the email i receive the file with the same message hi team please find attached employee csv yc supporting once i you can see the file name employee file underscore this is the same file in employee file underscore 23 dot csv and once i will click here you can see the file having three records as we have passed three data from here right but there is one issue if you will see this file doesn't have the header if you are going to generate csv file that file should have the header file but we don't have header here so how we can achieve this one i will explain in next video with the help of append operation we can achieve these things so i will explain this in next video thank you so much for watching if you have any other queries you can make a comment on that thank you so much again